Hey everyone, Gio here. Y Juan Carlos. Pura Vida. Pura Vida es de Costa Rica. Sí. And why are we saying Pura Vida? Because we are coming to you from our home here in Costa Rica. And guess what that means? Home vlog. <laughs> here we are. So yeah, we wanted to take a little time, two things in this video. We want to talk a little bit about the history of Juan Carlos and I, going back over six years, pre-marriage, all of that, and what was going on when we met, and the fact that we are here in this beautiful house in Costa Rica that we're going to show you a little bit of in this video, a little bit of our yard, a little bit of the house, some of the shenanigans that went on during this little period of time that we're down here uh, staying in our home and doing some work mm -hmm. that we had to do, um, you know, home stuff. So you guys seem to really like these kind of home vlogs, so. Happiness is a lifestyle. Juan Carlos, why don't you tell them, well, let's go back in time. When did we meet? How did we meet? So we met in 2015 in a RSVP cruise. If you want more information about that, you can check this video mm -hmm. here with our story. Um, and then about that time, I was um, in the process of building this house. Mm -hmm. So I had just started when, when I met him. and. Um, yeah, so I had just started and my dad was um, helping me to build the house. Uh, he was in charge of pretty much everything. And, um, and it was interesting to, you know, um, me building the house and have him, you know, by my side to, you know, ask questions like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Uh, so this house, I, I can say it's a combination of or uh, my ideas, his ideas, my dad ideas, and my dad's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of the coolest things about uh, cultivating our relationship at the beginning. You know, I didn't want to overstep my bounds because we were still newly dating mm -hmm. each other, getting to know each other. And the fact that we were also in a long distance relationship with him being here in Costa Rica and me being in the United States, um, this was one of those little things that we had that was sort of a common thread that uh, a lot of our conversations that we had when we would get together online when he was here and I was in Florida and we would have video conferences with each other and he would say hey what do you think about this or I'm thinking about this color or my dad said he wants to do this type of molding on the walls or whatever it was um, it was one of the things that um, we really enjoyed and kind of brought us together at the beginning of our relationship mm -hmm. and because I had had history of building the house that we live in in Florida. I had built that house way back in 2001. So I had been through home construction and building of a home and picking out colors and things and some of the things he wasn't even aware of. You know, it was like, hey, what about this or what about that? So that was kind of fun. And, um, and then it was great every time I would come down here to Costa Rica to get a chance to see some of the construction and some of the stuff that was happening. So I'm gonna throw in a few photos here. So those are a few shots from way back in 2015, 2016, while the place was under construction, mm -hmm. various stages. And now we have a beautiful home here in Costa Rica as well as in Florida. It's great. So what were some, what are some of your favorite features of this house? Um, here where we are seeing the uh, these uh, terrace. Yeah, yeah, we're on our little outdoor terrace. So we're this little bench that we're sitting on, this wasn't here originally, and we had seen some pictures of little benches and things that we wanted, and uh, one of the best things was that every time we saw something that we thought was kind of cool, he would show a picture of it to his dad, and the next thing you know, the following week, his father would built it for us. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? So mm -hmm. they send the stairs, the yeah, staircase. the staircase, and we'll show you that in the video too. That's something that is really the sort of the focal point of this house and really it's sort of that wow factor when you walk in the door here you see this beautiful staircase that goes up and all the right wrought iron work 
his brother did for us. Mm -hmm. And his dad hand built this entire staircase for us, which is spectacular. Mm -hmm. Love it. I agree. Those are two of my favorite features here. And then the other is just the location that we're in and kind of tell you a little bit about the area that we live in here in Costa Rica. Most people, when they come to Costa Rica as tourists, they flock to the beaches, mostly the Pacific side of the country, which is called Manuel Antonio, that, that area, um, or on the Caribbean side, which is Limon. Um, we actually live in what's considered the Central Valley of Costa Rica. So we're in a valley. However, when you think of valley, you think low. Well, while we are low, our house is at an elevation of about 5,000 feet above sea level. So where we live in Florida, we're at like three feet above sea level. So here, when we get here, um, you know, we're definitely higher up elevation, which means what? Amazing temperatures. Mm -hmm. Tell them about that. What is a year-round temperature? Yeah, the like? year-round temperature, it's 60s and 70s. Sometimes it can go as high as maybe 85 when it's like super hot and that's very rare and sometimes can go as low as 40 yeah which is rare too but yeah. so there's been a few nights where we've had to cuddle up together because it's really chilly or whoo got that fan going because it's been warm um but th those are rare days the good thing though is maybe it's like 80 something during the day but after 2 3 p.m starts going yeah down. the temperature starts going down and um, so the climate is one of the best things for me. And one of the things that made me most nervous when the house was being built, because there's no central air or heat in this house. And I was like, I've never lived in a house. Well, I shouldn't say never. When I was growing up in upstate New York, I remember as a kid, a couple of our houses, we didn't have um, air conditioning. Um, we definitely had heat because it's really, really cold up there. But to not have either was a little concerning of mine. Um, I convinced him that in our family room here that we would have a ceiling fan. And um, I'm glad we have it because we do use it. Uh, but other he does. Than that, when, I'm, when I'm by myself here, I never do. Yeah, yeah. That's, tr that's true. So I enjoy having a little bit of fresh air. And I do have a fan in the bedroom, one of those oscillating fans that if we need it, because um, I'm a hot sleeper and you're not, you know. So that means my body temperature goes up at night anyway. So... Uh, but other than that, the temperature here is absolutely spectacular. And again, we're at a high elevation, so we're what's considered a cloud forest. Uh, by the way, if you hear any noise, our neighbors are doing some construction on their, their patio, so there's a little noise happening over there. Sorry about that. Um, but that's one of the things that we love, and um, we have beautiful views. We'll take you up on our balcony. We have a two-story house here. And we have an outside balcony that kind of goes over our carport area. And we've got some beautiful vistas of the mountains in the distance. And it's quite lovely. It is. Yeah. So those are some of the key factors. The other thing that I love about here, and I'll throw in some footage uh, in just a moment, is that the climate here and the fact that we are close to a volcano, and Costa Rica has several volcanoes, um, it makes the soil here incredibly, incredibly fertile which makes it really easy to grow stuff. And our little garden that we have going on here in the backyard, thanks to Juan Carlos's mother, mm -hmm. and all the things she's planted back here, and we'll show you that. Um, that's one of the things we love, too, is when we're down here and just putzing around the yard because you can pretty much grow anything. Unlike in Florida, where our soil <laughs> is sand and salt and coral, hardly any, anything unless it's tropical or palm trees grows uh, in Florida. So um, what do you think? Should we... Kind of go around? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let's show you guys a little bit of the house, shall we? Let's do it. So here are, we are in the patio. This is the, uh, the terrace. And uh, something important for me was to have easy access uh, inside the house whenever we had to bring, you know, furniture or something big. Um, so like we have this um, um, door here. You can have, you know, easy access to the um, the dining room and you can uh, we also have these big doors here that you can have really easy access inside the house so. and this is our dining room and family room uh, we spend a lot of time here um, the lights important this is one of the things that uh, I this, I bought it and made a decision of what to get um, with, with Gio uh, because I was sending him photos I uh, went to the store with my dad and we were just looking at, at lights. I love these ones. 
these actually match the ones over the staircase. Mm -hmm. And let me turn the lights on so we can show. So the cool thing about these lights are they're sort of, you know, they've got crystals on them, but when you look at them, they kind of look a little bit like butterflies flying. They're not butterflies, but kind of reminds me of butterflies. Yeah, they are crystals, so you can see the beautiful rainbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hint. And then our family room over here. With our big couch, this is where it all happens. We hang out here pretty much all day long. As you can see, Juan Carlos's computer and my computer. <laughs> and Donald, he goes with us everywhere. Mm -hmm. How come? Because Donald is number one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, this is the main door. Something interesting about this is that I wanted something representative of us, and this is uh, a tricket. So this symbol, um, you know, means a lot of things depending on, on your beliefs. Um, it can be the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one of our favorite signs. We have a, a couple of rings that have them. Um, it's very like Celtic, so we have that um, um, heritage, the uh, Irish, Scottish heritage in, in our DNA. So we wanted to incorporate that too. And then if you see here, this is a J, and there's another one here. Mm -hmm. Juan and John. Mm -hmm. Love it. So let's go in. Tom's turkeys. And there's the massive, beautiful, gorgeous staircase. Made with love by Juan Carlos's dad and his brother. And then we have some artwork here in the entrance. And we got this artwork at our first Alaskan cruise with RSVP. Uh, we bought it in an auction. This one actually, it's similar to one that is in our house in Florida. Mm -hmm. The colors mostly. And I love, like, I love the lavender color. If you watch our wedding video right here, mm -hmm. you will see that that was actually one of our, um, our theme, our color for our wedding. So I love this one. Mm -hmm. And then this other one, I just love it because of what it looks like and the meaning. And it just, you know, brings me like, sweet calm you know uh, just a easy walk in, in the rain in a beautiful park with all these beautiful colors like a like a, a sunset it just I, I just love it mm -hmm. so we got a hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah we definitely like this artwork and the, and the artist over here by the way you've seen probably in our videos from florida i've got there is that piece that he talked about similar uh that features the four seasons uh, winter spring summer and fall and it's by an artist by the name of david najar who is actually a, a brilliant um, Israeli artist, actually. Admiring the uh, chandelier. Yeah, <laughs> and as I said, this one matches the, uh, the one over the dining table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love it. And when the time of the year is right and the lighting is correct, then the sun comes in and you can see um, rainbows reflected all over the, um, the walls. Mm -hmm which makes it just beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're standing on the second level of our house now in this little landing area. As you can see, it sort of wraps around, kind of, kind of pan around here. Um, our plan is to kind of make this a little gallery. Obviously we have lots and lots of photographs of our travels and things of that nature. And so eventually we're gonna get all of those printed and framed and have sort of a nice history of all of our travels on the walls up here. Mm -hmm. That's what we'd love to do, right? That's, that's the plan. Uh, we have two bedrooms up here, and uh, we, do, we have friends staying with us, so we're not going to show you the guest room. We'll show you another time uh, since they're in that room. So now we're on our outside balcony, uh, which is directly above our carport down below. This is off the second floor, and uh, Juan Carlos loves to use this to do his yoga. Yeah, I like to here. come here and exercise a little. It's mm -hmm. very windy here. It's, yeah, it's nice yeah. when you have a nice breeze. Mm -hmm. We plan eventually when we're when we're able to spend a little more time here, we'll get some more furniture to put out here. But since we're not here very much right now, 
it just doesn't make sense to do that yet so it's kind of empty yeah you we know? might even have a um, um, grill for yeah this part of the house. yeah put a grill up here as well mm -hmm. we have one on the downstairs so maybe we'll be all fancy and have two grills you never know <laughs> <laughs> but anyway let me show you this is one of the places i like to come because again we have we're surrounded by mountains so you can see them in the distance so check it out I'm staying in our kitchen kind of pan around a little you know the usual double fridge all of the magnets on our refrigerator are from travels that we've been on kind of like that and then we have the sink over there and the stove over there one of the cool things about this though is the island uh, is on wheels so if we need extra space we can just kind of push it and move it around and it's got all of our pots and pans below but we can change it and move it you know, for entertaining or whatever, and we need more extra space, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty standard, our kitchen and all of our accoutrements. And the artwork over our shoulder, we bought that at the Foreria de Café, which is the yes. festival of coffee that we've been to several times, and there was there's a local a, artist. There's a... Are you going to put a link up there? To, we're putting lots of links in this video. Link to coffee. <laughs> but a local artist from Costa Rica uh, painted that, and it's... Gaijinas. Gaijin. Gaijo. Oh, that's right. Those are Gaijo. Gaijo. Y Gaijina. And, como se dice, the little babies. Ojitos. Ojitos. So, a rooster, hen, and little chicklets. <laughs> and then off our kitchen, we have sort of what we call, it's kind of like a mud room. It's not totally finished yet. Um, we haven't enclosed this area, but we're, we use it for storage. Yeah, we're going to add um, oh, what, are, what are we going to do? We're going to add a new rack here mm -hmm. in, in a few days. Some more storage. And we talked about maybe so. putting a, like a, a door or something, something or a slider or something mm -hmm. to kind of close it off. And then we have laundry room here and more storage. And then our back door. So let's go out to the backyard. One's, uh, we had, we have brought some fresh flowers when we came down here and we're heading back to Florida tomorrow and unfortunately, well, they lasted. Oh yeah, they did. But wow. now their their time has come. <laughs> so to lip sync <laughs> for your flower lives. For the sea. So yeah, we do all of our little gardening out here. And this is cool too because we have a slop sink out here. A lot of people don't have a slop sink, but this is really, really handy um, for doing gardening stuff, for cleaning up, for whatever, you know, cleaning chicken, cleaning fish, cleaning we got it. It's cool. <laughs> Fresh roses from our garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mom actually, oh, I thought it was a little better. It's not too good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, one, the one over here is actually better. Oh, look, but there's new ones. Coming. Yeah, you got some buds coming out. So I That's guess fine. what I'm just going to do is just stick this in the ground and <laughs> See what happens? Go, yeah, let it grow. Because you know what happens. I'll stick it next to that one over there. But this is a perfect one to cut right now because it's just opening. This is, yeah. This size. Let me see. Huele rico. Si, huele rico. Mm-hmm. Nice. Gracias. And our very interesting orchid is blooming. What is this one called, Juan Carlos? We call this lluvia de oro or gold rain. Gold rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Qué bonita. It's a long stem with lots of little flowers. Beautiful. This this one came back to life because when we came, when I came here. Uh, almost a month ago, it was like really sad, like all dry. Mm -hmm. And then we started to put back some more water and taking care of it. And now it's doing a lot better. Yeah. She's coming back to life. And this one. Yeah, well, this is amazing. This. 
We just cut it back. It was actually huge. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot bigger. So we had to trim it. Uh, but it's doing incredibly well. The funny part is that I had to grow one of these a few years ago in a, in a hanging pot, like one like those. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't, didn't like it, didn't work. But my mom put this one right on the, on the uh, dirt here yeah. and it just... Yeah, and this thing up here that's in the pot that's come back to life, look at it down here. And it's the same thing, it's doing well. Oh look, this, is, this one is also... Yeah, I got some new, new flowers here. Mm -hmm. I bet it, while you're doing that, do you mind if I go tell them about our avocado? No. Or why don't you tell them about the avocado? Go ahead. So, a couple, no, like three, four years ago, we started uh, compost, and we had the compost in a, in a little, like a plastic container. Mm -hmm. And then I was just throwing pretty much everything, you know, flowers, leaves, seeds, um, skin, like potato skin, or... Um, oh, mango, stuff like that. And then, out of the sudden, well, you know what happens with uh, uh, with compost. It just uh, becomes dirt. And out of the sudden, we saw a plant growing. And after a few months, I realized it was a avocado plant. Actually, three. I think we now have two, but. Um, there were three avocado plants that just came out of the, of the compost. They just started growing. And my mom and my dad uh, moved those to a, a couple pots here. And now they are pretty big. Yeah, so from an avocado seed, from just because we love avocados and we buy avocados, and throwing it in the compost bin, and the next thing you know, we've got this plant growing, not knowing what it is, and then turns out to be avocado. Now we've got two avocado trees that are seedlings. We're not even seedlings anymore. We're going to plant them in the ground. Probably not on this trip, probably the next trip. Uh, maybe we can show you that, but let me take you over and show you the pots. Uh, unbelievable that yeah, we've got these avocados. I want to point out the size of this rubber, rubber plant, look. I know that started out as like this tiny little plant. It started like this. I know, it was like this, smaller than your hand. And now look at that. Giant rubber tree. And this one too. Which one? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They just love here. <laughs> Everything loves here. <laughs> By the way, this is something cool. Let me point out this little, this is traditional Costa Rica. And it's when I turned 50 years old, uh, Juan Carlos's family graciously back in 2017 threw a big party for me down here in Costa Rica. And it's traditional to give this bill and it's called a teja. So media teja, not media geo. Not to be confused, media teja. Anything else you want to say about that? Yeah, it's very traditional. Teja means 100. Mm -hmm. Well, it's how we call 100. Uh, people used to have the uh, 100 colonists bill, mm -hmm. and they will say, Tiene una teja, like you have a teja, meaning do you have 100? And then media teja, 50, that's what you get when you turn 50. Mm -hmm. So there's my media teja, my 50. We keep it outside here on the shelf that Juan Carlos' dad built for us. We used to have our herb garden on here, but we haven't been down here to maintain the herbs. So we don't have an herb garden right now. But let me go back. i got to show you the avocado tree, right? You're waiting. So there you go. We got one, two avocados growing. And we want to put, we're going to let these get a little bit fuller. So probably, like I said, on our next trip down in about another month and a half, we'll put these in the ground. And then we'll have avocados in like 20 years. <laughs> They're one of the slowest growing trees out there. But maybe because it's here in Costa Rica, they may grow faster. I'll have to do research on that. Because again, as I said, our soil being volcanic is unbelievable as far as how great plants seem to do down here what's that <laughs> what's this um it's a urinal <laughs> and you may be wondering why is there a urinal in our backyard uh we took it out actually we had when juan carlos had the house built 
he asked his dad to put a urinal in the bathroom downstairs, which he did. And it was the, it was plumbed to the wall, but there was never any water hooked up, so we never used it. So for the last six years, it was there, and then we discovered, unfortunately, on this trip, it started leaking a little bit. So we took it out, and we're not, and we replaced it with a shelf, and we sealed up the spot. So now we're gonna take photos of it and put it on the community website here, and maybe somebody will buy it. We'll see. You need to clean that. I need to clean what? The grill. I know. I, I started last night. We cooked on the grill last night. It hasn't been used in over a year, and I took the cover off, and it was just filled with yuckiness. So I will continue cleaning it. That'll be my project tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight because mm -hmm. it's getting cold. I am actually getting cold. I'm getting goosebumps. It's probably in the low 60s right now, but it feels good. We got a rainbow. And why? Because it's hitting the right spot in the lights. Yep. So when the sun hits the lights, we get a little bam. Probably upstairs is also hitting some. Probably, yeah. yeah. So if you didn't know, we're, our house is pretty gay here in Costa Rica. <laughs> it's By the way, house. tell everybody, look, this is something else on the back of the stairs we didn't show you. So we have photo frames from all of our travels. We're missing a few photos that we have to print still, but um, Juan Carlos loves to have them displayed and I am so proud of that. So all of our trips. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Awesome. Yes. Directly behind me above these trees are the mountains. So as I said, we're in the valley surrounded by the mountains, but it's just so peaceful here. Absolutely wonderful every time I come down to Costa Rica. It's so nice. Hey everyone, it's future Gio and future Juan Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to you from the future as it relates to this video. Um, we didn't do an outro because originally we were doing the home vlog in Costa Rica uh, with the intention of making it one video, but as I sat down to do the editing, um, I found that we had enough footage to create two videos from Costa Rica. Okay. So um, I wanted to come to you and just kind of let you guys know that. This is part one. So we're gonna end things here and we hope you enjoyed our home tour and a little bit of our backyard in Costa Rica. And um, yeah, if you have any feedback or comments or questions or anything about Costa Rica, let us know. He's the one who's super knowledgeable um, about all things Tico, right? Not all things. He knows it all. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> or at least he'll pretend he does. <laughs> but anyway, we uh, appreciate you watching, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as we always say, happiness is... A lifestyle. And uh, we are looking forward to getting back to Costa Rica. We're coming to you from back in our home here in Florida. But uh, we will have lots more videos in the near future from here and there and beyond. So stay tuned. And if you haven't done so yet, what do they need to do more? Subscribe. Yeah, go ahead. Subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell notification so that you get notified every single time we upload a video. And most importantly, help us out by doing that little thumb. Just hit it. It would be great. Um, feedback, comments. We would love to hear from all of you. So stay tuned. We will be posting another video from Costa Rica very soon. And we got a whole bunch more coming from Disney coming your way. All right. Peace out, everyone. Bye.